Hey guys, welcome to Vape Geeks this week. Uh, we are going to be covering some of our local brick and mortar shops here in Omaha, some of their house blends and house juices. Uh, today we're going to start off with four house blends from Plumes. And you notice probably right off the bat that we are not using our usual drippers. That is because we are going to start off today by reviewing Copy Shop Hodge Podgery. Yeah, so uh, we are starting off with Plumes, like JC said. When we were talking to Sam about some of his flavors um, and which ones uh, would, would be good to review, he told us that he'd, he'd inflict physical harm on us if we uh, disgraced coffee shop hodgepodgery uh, by putting it in anything other than a cardo, which is why we've got these Smoke Tech Mega Cardos on the SVD and the iTaste VTR, uh, respectively. So uh, we've been vaping coffee shop hodgepodgery for a couple of minutes already uh, as we, we went about starting the video today. and. Um, Definitely, for me, I'm getting the, uh, the the cafe or the the coffee flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some undertones that that I haven't quite hit on yet. But uh, what are you getting? I'm. I mean, first of all, I'm definitely not really a coffee person. Uh, but when I do drink coffee, I like it sweet, and I don't like it to actually taste like coffee. And this is actually kind of right down my alley. I mean, it definitely tastes like coffee, but it has kind of hints of like maybe hazelnut, caramel, mm -hmm. a little bit sweet. You know, I was, I was just gonna really say, good. you know, after after uh, I stopped talking, I, I took that vape, and it uh, it instantly reminded me of a like a caramelicious. Uh, mocha or something like that from mm -hmm. uh, like Starbucks. No, yeah, it's really, really, really good actually. Yeah, I, and, I don't uh, get coffees or tobaccos, but this I, I'm down to vape. I like kind it. of uh, interesting story about coffee shop Hodge Podgery. It's actually the juice that started Plumes. Uh, Sam used to make this stuff in his basement. So it started Plumes. What What do you mean? Uh, I mean this is where it all started. Sam made this juice in his basement. Um, and he'd have people ordering it and coming to his house to pick it up. It got so popular that he decided, you know what, maybe I should uh, make this a uh, lifetime venture. And so that's what, started started, that's what started the institution mm -hmm. that is Plumes as we know today. Wow, that's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, so vaping a little piece of Plumes history. No doubt. It's really good though. Mm -hmm. um, this, uh, this is available at all Plumes locations and if you're into coffee, caramel, hazelnut, uh, anything like that, um, that's that's what this is. Uh, again, you know, definitely, uh, I, I'm not a huge Cardo fan, but in a Cardomizer, this is excellent. Um, I also am now a, a, a decent fan of these uh, Mega Cardos by Smoke Tech. Um, these, are, these are pretty nice. Uh, it comes out to 1.6 ohms, uh, which, you know, in a variable voltage, variable wattage device is, is pretty decent. Uh, I'm cranked up to like 13, but... You know, we're used to the drippers, so it is what it is. Um, it's really nice, too, because you can pull on this thing as hard as you want. You don't have to worry about flooding it. Yeah. You can really get some pretty decent yeah. stuff going off one of these Mega Cardos. All right, enough about the Mega Cardos. Uh, should we move on to our next flavor? Yeah, this uh, this next one is JFK or JKF's MPD. All right, JKF's MPD. Uh, this is kind of an interesting name, JC. Do you know anything about the name here? Uh, well, it was juice created by one of our employees here. Um, it's called multiple personality disorder because the flavor doesn't really stay the same. It changes a lot, and uh, I don't know. After having it in the stripper, I'm, I'm really liking it. Yeah, it's definitely interesting. Um, it's it's got uh, a little bit of like a cinnamony taste to me. See, I'm almost getting. Uh, I mean, it's definitely sweet. Mm -hmm. I'm almost getting like a lemonade or something along those lines. Uh, I can see where you'd like get the a lemon sweet lime. tart, almost. Yeah, maybe not sweet tart, but I can see where you'd get like a lemon lime. Ah, oh, there's, uh, it, it reminds me of uh, Red Hots, it really does. Just really? like as an undertone, not as the predominant flavor, but yeah. like a sweet, maybe if you put like, uh, I don't know, Skittles and Red Hots in yeah. your mouth at the same time. Definitely get a little bit of cinnamon out of it now too. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, you no know, vape has really been the same with this. Every time I vape it, I get a little bit of something different. Yeah, the only other flavor that I've ever had do that is uh, Boba's Bounty, which is not... Oh, you tried Boba's Bounty? Yeah. 
Really? Yeah, I haven't gotten a chance to try it yet. I've heard good things, but... Yeah, this guy in a, in a vape shop had it, and uh, I saw that his dripper, he had labeled it on the side, it said Boba. I was like, that's not, that's not the elusive Boba's bounty, is it? <laughs> and he's like, why, yes sir, it is. And I said, oh, well, might I have a toot? And I proceeded to run his tank dry, but it was really good. But it did, it changed flavors all the time, kind of yeah. like this. It was, wow. it was interesting. Yeah, I like it. Definitely interesting. Never had it out of a dripper before. Tried it out of our tester tanks, but never out of a dripper. Yeah, it's 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 a nice flavor though. It's kind of um, cool how drippers just really pronounce, bring out and pronounce mm -hmm. flavors and juices. It's Absolutely, cool. they do. All right. Well, that is JKF's MPD. I think next we're going to come at you with some sucker punch. So we're gonna dry out. We'll be right back with you. All right, guys, coming back with another Plumes House Blend Sucker Punch. While you're dripping it over there, why don't you tell them a little bit about it, and I'll take a bite. Um, I have no idea. I've never tried this. This is the first. This is first. I've smelled it. Um, if that counts, it doesn't. <laughs> what, uh, what are you getting? It's almost, okay, you know one of those uh, Fruit Punch rock stars. That's um, almost kind of what I'm getting out of it. It kind of has like that energy drink like tinge to it, but it's also really fruity. I'm, I'm really digging it. And it's actually uh, becoming quite the popular flavor, um, at least down in Bellevue location. I know it's uh, quite a few people are enjoying the Sucker Punch right now. You get the fruitiness. There's, uh, hmm, there's, a, there's an interesting aftertaste to it. It's almost, it's almost bubble gummy. Honestly, hmm. that's okay. I didn't think I'd get that, but hmm. maybe yeah. that's that punchiness that I'm getting. Blow pop, blow pop. It reminds me of blow pop. But it's got okay, like you said, it's got that fruit punchy flavor. Mm -hmm. But the the aftertaste reminds me of the bubble gum inside of blow pop. See, my it's, the aftertaste that I'm getting is kind of like like I said, it's kind of that energy drink. Tinge, I guess. Hmm. I'm I'm digging it though. It's pretty good, especially in the dripper. Um, you know, most of these flavors um, I pretty much can try anytime I want, and I generally I don't know. I'm kind of a guy that doesn't change a lot of things in my daily routine. So uh, a lot of these flavors, it's my first time trying in a dripper, and yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if this would be necessarily an all-day vape for me, but uh, yeah. if I wanted to change it up and get something different, I would probably go with Sucker Punch. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not bad at all. <laughs> so that is Sucker Punch, guys. And coming up, last but not least, we have Alex All Night, which is modeled after a Vegas bomb by yet another Plumes employee. All right, guys, we're back with our last juice in this review from Plumes here in Omaha. Bellevue Council Bluffs area, all those places, and hopefully more very soon. Uh, this is Alex All Night, which is a employee brew, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, JC, you uh, you just took it too. What'd you what'd you get? Um, well, it's modeled after a Vegas bomb, and a Vegas bomb is usually a combination of Crown Royal, either a butterscotch or a peach liquor, and a Red Bull. Um, I definitely, it's not overly sweet, uh, I definitely get a little bit of the, uh, the whiskey, if you will, in there. Uh, I'm not sure where that comes from. Um, I, I think he probably mixed this one with, uh, butterscotch. I get more butterscotch out of it, but, uh, yeah, you know, do you taste any peach in there at all, or? No, no I don't. Um, and, you know, Vegas Bomb's very... A lot uh, based on where you're at in the country they're they're made a lot of different ways but what they're always going to contain is uh, a whiskey of some sort and Red Bull um, I do I do get the Red Bull in the aftertaste the aftertaste for me is pretty spot-on with the Vegas bomb um, I've, I've had my share of Vegas bombs um, <laughs> and my share of Crown Royal so uh, I definitely get the whiskey and the Red Bull um, the butterscotch is not coming through to me there's Something in there. Uh, there's a there's a third ingredient that I just haven't put my finger on yet. I must get a cherry out of it. Some sort kind of tart of like a fruit. Black 
cherry sort of flavor to it. Like I said, it's not overly sweet, so you're not... It definitely still kind of tastes like that adult beverage. Maybe it's that mystic dragon fruit that we've never tasted in real life. <laughs> <laughs> it could be, it could be. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I like it, though. It's good. Probably it's not good. an all-day vape for me. No, but, uh, at the bar, maybe. Yeah, definitely. Like. I could see this being a very good juice to have alongside a whiskey mm -hmm. or, you know a beer or something at the bar because it doesn't have that overpowering sweetness it'd probably go pretty well with uh, any of your run-of-the-mill alcoholic beverage yeah yeah definitely um sorry about the haze guys I, that might be annoying it might not be um as you can see via the wall uh we moved and the new table we moved to a new studio space um it's uh, a smaller room so it, it packs the the vapor and especially with the the clouds we're going for out of the drippers here um, all in all, it's it's a better space though. It allows us to do some more things. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to do green screen stuff as we as we speak. Um, but we're we're probably gonna invest in a fan or something to yeah, some sort to of evacuate the system. Mm -hmm. Well, with that, guys, that is our four from Plumes. Uh, well, JC, talk about price point, would you? Okay. Um, okay, all of these are house blends, so they do fall under the premium flavor categories. Ten mils, you're looking at five or is it five or six ninety nine? That's dry. I'm gonna go back to coffee shop because <laughs> that's good. Um, I know the thirty mils are fifteen ninety nine, and fifty mils are twenty three ninety nine for any of these flavors. That sounds right to me. If we're wrong, we'll put up a, a caption. But uh, that sounds about right. So uh, yeah, Plumes Plumes makes great stuff. Uh, all their blends, all their juices. I'm sorry, are uh, made in America except for a select few. Uh, I believe they've got some. The Hanks and yeah. the Hanksons, and the main reason for those are they they really have that tobacco-y flavor to mm -hmm. them, that tobacco-y throat bit. So. Yeah, Hankson does make a pretty good tobacco <coughs> uh, product. So, um, all right, guys, we covered just about everything uh, with these four excellent juices from Plumes. Uh, Coffee Shop Hodge Padre is definitely my favorite from today. JC, what was yours? Yeah, you know, either the uh, multiple personality disorder it was really good in a dripper, and Hodge Podge, I mean. Vape and hodgepodge really makes me want to go break out my old variable voltage mod and a cartomizer tank and start vaping it in the morning. Mm. It's really good stuff. Yeah. So uh, with that, uh, we do have one more juice review coming to you this week uh, from another local shop, UNI. So stay tuned for that. And on that note, I think we're out of here. Yep. See you guys later. Stay calm and vape on. Bye.